switch it on. Here's Wanyama. Torres over to Kyoto on the near side. Lamel Kyoto into the 18, around Alvis Powell, stabbed away by Nick. Sorrente Kyoto has he strong, powerful. Beats Alvis Powell, goes to the byline, cuts him. So Quint Torres will come over to take the corner and kick from the near side to the right of Roman Celentano. Torres headed down to the four post and punched. Austin Johnson continues actually thinking about it being Waterman that yep. got the end. But end touch to it. And it was taken down hard and very frustrated. Now Acosta loses the ball off his foot and Montreal will have a chance the other way. Torres trying to find Kyoto. He does. Edge of the 18. Kyoto drawing it back. Powell trying to get out of the way. Celentano can't. Kyoto buries it after all of that. A goal for Mont and the hosts have the lead. Oh, it's that guy it's involved the game. Build up play starts as just the midfield. And it's a slip pass. The fine Kyoto just in between Alvis Powell. Initially a good challenge from Alvis Powell, but there's a bit of a mix-up between the goalkeeper and Powell. And Kyoto punches again just on that second loose ball. Gets it out of his feet. It ends up being an easy tap in, but I agree 100%. Tommy, trying to avoid putting yourself in that position to go down a goal. Montreal has scored a lot this year. They have also conceded quite a bit. Came into this match tied in third in Major League Soccer with 24 goals. Prime Blue kids tonight, head to toe. First touch goes to Montreal in the second half. Underway here in Quebec. Long in the direction of Kamara, headed away, Hamdi. Over to the left side, and Lapalainen running right at Alvis Powell, as was the case the entire first half. Lapalainen looking for a cross. Kamara dumps it off, and it's punched in. Matthew Schwanier, Montreal. But Schwanier redirects it. Just a little delicate setup touch. Once again. Kyoto from the spot. Celentano got the save and it went off his hands and into the net. Kyoto, too much power. 4-2 Montreal. And Kyoto has a brace. On first look again. Looked like the youngster made a great save. And very unlucky as he makes this. See if it comes back down off the ground, hits back off of his elbow, and goes underneath him, which is extremely unfortunate. Back within one. Just five minutes later, the penalty kick awarded following the handball on Nick Hagland. And with a half an hour, Murphy. Sending it into the 18, over hit the ball, lands in the hands of Sebastian Brezza. And now the full time whistle. Mistakes led the goals to brace from 